Now, having covered the segment of breadth, I want to go into Fibonacci extensions. I'm a firm believer that Fibonacci extensions work well if your choice of trend is very good, right? Your choice of trend has to be excellent. So this is the chart of the Sensex. I just have one chart from India and that's the Sensex, which you all must have heard, I'm sure over the years. And what I've done is I have taken the 2008 fall. What I've realized in these last two days, speaking to people, there are many people, many analysts, many fund managers who've come into the markets after 2009. If you haven't seen 2008, you haven't seen financial markets. And I have the pleasure, I have the pleasure to go through 2008 because it gave me a world of knowledge as to how bad things can get, right? So this was 2008. You have this massive fall on the Sensex, uh, which, which happened over a year. I'm doing a simple Fibonacci extension on the Sensex 2008 data, the 1.618. Have a look at how beautifully that's worked. 2.618 and recently the next level 4.236. But the difference here is I'm using line data. I'm using closing prices. I'm not looking at the open high low close because I think the close is the most important aspect of any day of any market. So I'm using the closing data as you can see and that has worked brilliantly in the last 15 years. The next slide I want to you, uh, show you is the Russian index. Again, I'm taking the 2008 fall. This is the collapse that happened in 2008, a mega trend. I'm doing a Fibonacci extension, 1.618 and 2.618. Look at where it has stopped out. If you apply the same concept on an open high low close chart, it's not going to work very well. But in, in a closing chart, it's worked brilliantly. And that's how we do technical analysis at Goldilocks. Now, when the fall happened, Russia, Ukraine, obviously everybody's talking about it. So everyone thought that, okay, the Russian market is going to go down lower because there is war. And where did that bottom out happen? It happened right at the 2008 high here, 2008 high here and which was also a Fibonacci extension level. So this keeps working, you know, these are just amazing data points. You just have to do research. You know, technical analysis is all about looking at multiple things. There is always something that works. And I'm a firm believer that the charts are never wrong, the analysis is. So if something has not worked, it means we've not worked hard enough to understand it better. And the next chart in this very segment is the Taiwanese index. Again, I have used 2008. Now you'll realize that why haven't I chosen any other period? Why haven't I chosen this period or this period or this period? Because 2008 was a mega trend and mega trends have tend to have an impact for months, quarters and even years to come. Right. So this is the Taiwanese index, which again, beautifully worked out, you know, in the recent past. And the next slide I'm sure is going to amaze you all. And that's the NASDAQ 100. So I'm not looking at 2008 here. I'm going back to the dot-com bubble and the fall. So this is the dot-com fall. 2000, year 2000 to year 2002. Mega fall, we still talk about it. You know, the financial media talks about the dot-com fall. You know, whenever many of these NASDAQ technology stocks fall, we refer to this period. So this was a very, very important period. And you do an extension on this, the 1.618, the 2.618 and the 4.236. Nobody's talking about it, believe me. You speak to people, there are 300 attendees here today. You speak to people, nobody's even looking at what happened in 2000, 2001. And that's the beauty. You just have to look at these charts. You'll be able to understand and just imagine what happened 23 years back is still impacting markets today. We are in 2023. You know, that's how technical analysis has to be used.